Uh, here's the GV. These are not smooth draw bars. They're just extra, extra draw bars. I uh, need to work on them. When they got took off, they got took off wrong. This one, as you can see, these aren't the brass plates, but they're trying to get there, ain't they? <laughs> They'll be brass when I'm done. I'll need to find me some brass to, to do that drawbar. This is what engages your second generator. G has a chorus generator, and that's what engages it, that drawbar. Uh, not smooth drawbars. I don't, I'm not a good enough player to worry about smooth. That P, that Electrotone come out of here, so uh, I need to fix that uh, that cheek box, replace it. And there's your tremulant. One thing about the G, I never heard anybody mention, is uh, I think that a Leslie hides some of those features, like the extra draw, the, the extra course generator, and the uh, the tremulant, I think it might be better to play this through a straight speaker if you really want to hear what that's what that does. Now, uh, this one also didn't come with a light underneath. I have a light that I'm probably going to put in for playing bass, but I may never put bass pedals through this. I have some I can put on, but this has I don't know if you can see them casters. So I might just leave it the way it is and it's leave it the beast that it is. It's uh I might one day set it up completely. I mean I don't have a bench, I got the RT2 bench. But uh I don't have a a C type bench. Let's see if we can get around here. I don't know if we can or not. This thing was a wired up mess when I got it. Man, was it a wired up mess. I've replaced the down two wires. Haven't finished crimping the top and getting them set up because I'm going to have to pull this organ apart and put a new uh, start motor in it for the main jet. Not a start motor, run motor for the main generator. I don't know what. I don't know what's up with that yellow uh, shrink wrap. I don't know who did that. That's for my time. Now, uh, I did, and I finished it, put a, a send and return on this. Uh, my right, this out, you know, when you don't use it, you just put a, a, a jumper cable in there to play it straight through. If I recall correctly, the, it wasn't expressible the way I hooked this one up. And uh, I don't remember why or how. Uh oh, looks like it don't work at all now. I need to do a little work to it. Alright. I gotta figure that out. One thing I was over at Mike's and I probably didn't have a solder gun. Like, for one thing, that's a wire nut, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have a solder gun. Not that I don't, I like wire nuts, but I just don't think I had my solder gun. Now all, the, all them jumper wires are uh, from when it had a, a, the percussion unit. And I, this had a Electrotone PER200 in it. I'm going to put it in my CV. So I just, I don't know what, why I got jumper wires. Oh, I guess so the draw bars would work while I was playing it. 
And uh, what I understand about this org, I don't know if you can see it. Well, up here's a better view. It has two wires that appear to be coming from the matching transformer. So uh, I don't know why that is. I guess one has to do with your your extra generator, but I don't know. It's something I want to find out about. Uh, I need to uh, straighten out that shelf. Get the right screw. See the screws broke off. Somebody made some handmade uh, shield in there, but that's all right. We'd do better, but for now, we got a lot to do in here. See, see, see. She plays and sounds beautiful. Beautiful. Tell you what, I really, really like playing this organ. You can't.